Is the new Galaxy S23 Ultra's 200 megapixel camera enough to destroy the iPhone and the Pixel? Well, we've got another unbiased camera comparison for you, but this time is a little bit different. Max is actually out in Florida right now, yeah. and he took a bunch of photos. Vadim and I have not seen any of them. We're gonna be voting on the best ones, so get a piece of paper and oh. a pen. Vote Ready. with us and let us know your results in the comments. So we got the first one right here. It looks to be a detail shot. And right away, I'm actually noticing the middle one by far has the most detail. I don't know, I can look right here. You can look, see all those little hairs. And even in the background, it looks pretty good too. Now the one on the right, garbage. Terrible. Terrible. One on the left is also very good, but I'm giving it to the middle. I'm actually gonna give it to the left one mm -hmm. for this one. It okay. does look a little more saturated. Mm -hmm but I think it looks better than the center. All right, well, let's see. <laughs> looks like we have, oh, look at that. S23 Ultra on the An left, iPhone. iPhone in the middle. That's actually the S23 Ultra's 200 megapixel mode versus 48, and the Pixel 7 Pro has a 50, but it's binned down to 12, so that's probably why it's not as good. Next one, ultra wide on all three. All right, instantly I see it's the one on the right. It has by far the least amount of flaring from the sun. The HDR is the best and detail is the best as the well. HDR is really the good. whole tree is so detailed. And the colors look really nice too. All right, we both chose the right. That's the S23 Ultra. All right, next up, we got a portrait. Oh, look at oh. that. Man, the one on the left, there is no like dimension or detail in their faces. The one on the center, it's just so cool. It's really cool. It doesn't seem like it's supposed to be that cool. Honestly, I'm gonna go with the right. I kind of like the, right the balance too. of the colors and the blur also looks good. Right is, oh, that's iPhone. the iPhone. Next up, Whoa. oh, 10X zoom what across all of them. What is that? Wow, the center is just bad. Terrible Not in the center. Even... I mean, this one has to go to the, the right. right, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just so much more detailed. You can see all the textures and these leaves, yep. the tree, everything. That's the S23. Again. And wait a minute, this is actually weird because the S23 has a 3X optical while the Pixel has a 5X optical and it's even worse than the iPhone, what the heck? All right, we got another portrait and wow, they're very, very similar. This is a hard one. Well, the left one, I don't know if it's just my eyes, but I don't see a portrait photo. I don't see any blur anywhere. The one in the center looks a little too soft for me, the details in the hair and the face. I'm going for the right. I'm actually gonna go with the one on the left. Even though it looks like portrait didn't really work, I do think that it's the least distorted. That's the Pixel 7 for and me. iPhone. You got the iPhone. Oh, oh, look at that. This is a portrait. Oh, wow. Jeez. Look at the flaring. This is all, all so flat. flat. But the center one is not a portrait. It did not work. But yeah, the one on the true. right, the car really stands out and looks great. What is that? S23. S23. Man, that's, that's good. All oh. right, we got a selfie. Yeah, wow. What is happening with the right one? Yeah. Everything is gray. I like the left. That looks I like the, left the best too. by far. S23, S23 again. <laughs> Samsung is killing it so far. Whoa! Oh my goodness, look at that. That's tough. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, tough. Like he's in the sun, she's in the shade. I mean, it's gotta be the center. This yeah. one is decent, but he, like his shirt is all blown out. Yeah, just colors are gone. She's pretty flat yeah. too. And this the is left soft one. too, and she's so dark, yeah. Center is the pixel. pixel. What? How does the pixel it's my first get pixel. all that HDR? Oh, okay, 10 10x zoom. zoom. Center for me. Yeah, the left <laughs> one seems the worst. The yeah. right one looks a little better, and then there's the center. Center S23. S23. It's Again. killing it. Now, before we move on, I've got to talk about our partner, Anchor's new 313 Ace Charger 45 watt, which is powered by GAN technology, leading to higher energy efficiency, upgraded heat dissipation, and reduced size, especially with its foldable prong design, so it's 30% smaller than Samsung's 45 watt original charger. The multi-protect technology safeguards your Samsung Galaxy with 10 layers of protection, like over voltage protection, current regulation, and overheating protection. It's also perfect for the S23 Plus and Ultra because it supports super fast charging 2.0, which guarantees 45 watt peak charging power, so you get a full charge in less than an hour, and it's compatible with all of your other Samsung devices, and of course, Android and 
Apple devices. And if you bought the regular Galaxy S23, Anchor also has the 312 Ace Charger 25 watt, which perfectly matches it with guaranteed 25 watt peak charging. So if you're looking for the perfect charger for any one of the new S23 phones, Anchor's 313 and 312 Ace Chargers are the ones to buy. Just search Anchor Ace Charger online or use the link in the description below. Color test, what does better? Okay, right here, blown out in the background. Yeah, they're so, so smudgy too, their you're faces. You're not seeing that blue. Okay, well when I'm looking at the left one and I'm looking at their faces and their hair, okay. it yep. does not seem as detailed. They yep. seem a little dark. The yep. center one, they're brought up, they look good. Yeah, I do like the center as well. I like how the brights, the highlights are kind of popping, mm -hmm. even though it's not blown out. That sign got a little yeah. bit there, but that's not a big deal. Pixel. Pixel. Wow. All right, looks like we have our first video. video. So let's go ahead and play this. Whoa, the okay, shake. Okay, yep, I'm getting the a lot of shake. The center. center, the right. Whoa, oh, weird, gosh. like motion blur. Oh my goodness. Yep. The center is like unbearable to look at. The right looks The right good. looks good. The right looks really good. The right looks good. really Ooh, good. Oh, look at their faces, all the detail, all the colors. Yep. I like that. The HDR. Stabilization is excellent. Look, everything here is so blow now. Yep. Man, the right one. And even at this pausing here, the right looks detailed. So like, detailed. look at the tree. Yeah. Yeah, that kills it. All right, time for the big reveal. We have, oh, iPhone. the 14 Pro Max. 4K. Wait, 4K, K it's beating 4K. the 8K. All right, right. 3X Whoa. portrait. Now, this is important because Whoa. the Pixel is not taking advantage of the 5X optical lens. It has to crop in from the 1X. Wow, there's some differences Wow, here. well, the left one is not portrait. Yep, not at Again. all. Again, yep. and that center on the right, they are completely different. The I mean, cutouts. the one on the right is insane. That you got one looks blur, cool. you got insane levels of detail. What? <laughs> no way. 14 Pro Max? Are you kidding me? Sunset Whoa. HDR. Cool, so no portrait this time. Man, immediately the center one. She looks wow. golden, she looks warm, her skin yep. looks great. The, the sunset, you can actually see the wow. sunset. You can see the colors. Yeah, you see the colors pop. Like, that's the one thing. When you're experiencing a sunset in real life, you, you got capture those warm it. colors. And I kind of like that it's more moody. You can see like yeah. the shadows are kind of brought I mean, down a little bit. it's not mid like middle that. of the day. It's the iPhone, iPhone again. again. Wow, Apple somehow is able to bring the colors out. Mm -hmm. Another video. All right, smooth stabilization. Stabilization, let's go. Okay. Oh, what's with all the artifacts and stuff on the left? Do you see all this? Yep, yep, yep. And the right too. The right as well. Okay. The left is out. Oh no, the center. Okay, well. I think the center is doing the best at being smooth. I, I see walking on the right. The center is just nice and smooth so far. Oh yeah, there were some jitters. Oh, at the motion end of the right blur one. too. I mean, yeah, it's got to be the sun for me. Like, I guess the sun. Lots yeah. of shaking us on the left. S twenty three Ultra is officially beating the iPhone at stabilization, where iPhone was the king for so long. Five X zoom. So here, the Whoa. Pixel has the advantage with the optical five X. Jeez, that right one looks terrible. Yeah, the What's right one happening? is garbage. It is so bright, blown out, flat. I think I see more detail in the feathers. Yeah, there is more detail. It's gotta be the center for me. Yep. Now before I reveal which phone, I've gotta talk about this, the Magic Stand case from our partner Casecu, which basically combines the best and most wanted aspects of a case into one. You've not only got a great and durable design with strong MagSafe magnets built in, but the MagSafe ring is literally on a hinge, so you can use it as a finger grip or a 40 to 120 degree stand. And the best part is that it folds back completely flush with the case, so it doesn't interfere with any other MagSafe chargers or accessories. So check out the link and all the discount info in the video description below. Pixel? Pixel? Of course the Pixel 5X. has to win that with the 5X lens. Whoa! Whoa that dude. is cool. I'm, I gotta see center immediately. That looks sick. Actually, Angelica, I'm gonna choose something else. Okay. I feel like there's just way too much yellow and warmth in the center. Mm -hmm. I like how the left one has the colors kind of popping out more. So for me- I'm gonna choose the left. Just yesterday, we had a sunset that was beautiful. It was super pink. Mm -hmm. and it made everything pink. And I feel like the center one 
looks true to life. I feel like it would look like that. Well, what did you choose? You chose the, the iPhone. iPhone, I chose the Pixel. All right, on to the next one. Oh, selfie, selfie video. video. This is front-facing 4K video on one phone. This is the audio quality of the next phone. Yeah. And this is the one of the third phone. Okay. Whoa. That was so a lot. what does better? So for me, visually, I really like the center. You can see all the details in his face, his hair, his beard, his skin tone looks accurate, it looks warm. But the audio as well, I think the center one sounded the best and clearest. I'm actually gonna agree, yeah, I didn't like the one on the left. Yeah. The one on the right was still pretty good, but the actual picture quality, video quality, is kind of flat, so I'm going with the center as well. S23! S23. Look at that. That looks good. Oh, wow. dusk HDR. So for me, the center is instantly out. All of this over here and this just looks so gray and flat compared to the others. I'm going with the left. I like how it's very sharp, detailed, sky looks great, and it's very moody. So I really like it. I wanted to pick the right one because it's darker and it's more moody, but then I saw that it's just lacking so much detail that the left one has. S23, S23 again. again. Okay, 1X lens. I like the center. I don't like, I like the, the left, center. how her face all flat. The yeah. right, her face all flat. It's like blown the out middle, the middle, right. you have highlight roll off. That's the iPhone, iPhone. ultra white, <laughs> ultra white <laughs> night mode. This is really tough. All three of these photos look nearly identical, okay. but looking at them closely, I think I like the right one the most. So I actually have a different opinion. I don't like the left because it's soft. You can see like the brick detail is very soft. The right one looks pretty good. However, I don't like the over sharpening that I'm noticing in this tree. Pixel! I got the iPhone again. 2X portrait. Okay, so for me, I do not like the left. Something about their skin, their face, their hair, like it just looks weird or artifacts. artifact y. Yep. On the right, they look a little blown out. Like there's a lot of loss of detail in their faces. I think the yep. center one is the most balanced. I agree. I like the highlight roll off, some very nice sharp detail. iPhone. iPhone again. All right, 1X Whoa. night. Wow, look at that. These are different. But the one on the right, oh, I don't dude. like it. It's so it's just so yellow, yellow everywhere. Like, look, the boat here is white. Banana house. Yellow. Yeah. For me, I'm going with oh, man. the center. I feel like it's so dimensional when you look at it compared to the left one. It looks so 3D. Okay, I also like the center as well. I'm looking in up close. I see a lot more detail in the mm -hmm. trees, the window frame, everything. Also, the, the text. HDR, when you look at like that sign, yep. it looks much more detailed. S23, S23 man. Night mode. That's that a looks big great. step up. Whoa. Yeah, I'm going for the right. I mean, just look at all the detail. All it the looks detail. so good. Yeah, this center one Texture. looks super soft. 14 Pro Max once again. Yeah. Wow, 3X night mode is huge compared to the others. Okay, 1X mix lighting. Whoa. Oh, is he green? <laughs> Yellow? I don't know, I'm yeah. colorblind, but man. Man, the center one, I just don't like how flat his face looks. I guess I'm gonna have to default go with the left. It's gotta be the left. And that's the pixel. pixel. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, this one is out, the one on the right. So much artifacting and noise right here. Man, I'm not feeling it. But the center has no detail, it's blurry everywhere. It is like a lot of kind of motion blur. And it kind of looks just so soft. This one has motion blur It too. does, it does. Oh man. I'm still choosing the left. I'd rather have that because you have less noise, less artifacting, it's darker in the background, this still yeah, pops. Yeah, I think I'm choosing the left, it's yeah. the least bad. Pixel! Pixel, whoa. <laughs> The budget phone <laughs> is doing pretty well right now. Ultra wide night mode. I'm choosing the center. Me Even too. though it's not the most detailed, I yeah. do think it looks better because the water is darker, it's more moody, you don't have a lot of this artifacts, weird noise, patchiness there. 14 Pro Max. All right, this is getting so close, guys. You have no idea. These scores are so close. Night mode oh. portrait. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Well, oh, it failed. Oh my goodness. Well, the first thing I noticed is just how all, like this, everything is crushed on the right one. Like the photo is basically ruined. Not only that, but the portrait mode focused on, what are these guys what guy? called? <laughs> Stormtroopers? Storm, red Stormtrooper apparently. Sorry, Star, Star Wars Sorry, fans. <laughs> but look, this was all blurred out. Uh, and then the left one didn't even work. I mean, yeah. The center it, did it. Looks, it. Yeah, looks very good. S23. S23. Night mode. Whoa. Whoa. 
Not the left one. The left one is too flat, in my opinion. Yep, yeah, soft, flat. I don't like it. I think I like the one in the center the most. I think his skin tone looks accurate. It looks normal. The one on the right just looks way too cool, in my opinion. I'm actually gonna choose the one on the right. I like mm -hmm. uh, the detail in his hair, face. It all looks really nice and clean. And I also like the depth of field roll off. That, that's the part like that, that looks that really good on the right side. Pixel. Wow. Those are both really good photos. Really, really nice. good. What? Oh, geez. Ducks? I'm sorry, but that looks delicious. Choose the one that looks the most delicious. <laughs> Just wanna eat it today. Okay, which one do you want? The one on the right, man, that looks good. Ooh. Yeah, the one on the right looks actually really like nice. Like the caramel color. Mm. Yeah, the color is much better. I like that it's a little darker. The center one's oh, just yeah. a little too bright. Yeah. 14 Pro Max? Oh, that looks good. Mm. Is it just me or does the right one look like it's almost not in focus? It looks kind of blurry. Yeah, kind of like it blurred everything out, like it focused on one point. I like how it's super bright, but I'm sure it wasn't anything like this. I'm sure Probably it was not. Yeah, dimmer. low light. Honestly, I kind of like the one in the center. I agree with I you. I kind of like that one. I, I like agree with you. more detailed and stuff, more probably realistic. Yeah. Center 14 Pro Max. Oh man, <laughs> it caught up. 3X Whoa. night mode. Okay, so this is not a portrait. Wow. Okay, yep. this is tough. All right, I mean, I'm choosing the one on the right so fast. Boom, I'm choosing yeah, that one. It I looks agree. so much better. You can see all the the strands of her hair. This one has so much noise. Everywhere, and there's and no this detail. one has, it's so soft, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I like the right. 14. Oh, dude. snap, guys. Uh -oh. oh, okay. On to the next one. For me, the center one instantly got out. I, I feel like when I look over here, it looks a little too over sharpened. It doesn't look super realistic. And then between the left and the right, I think I see more detail on the right side. I am also choosing the right side. Pixel. Pixel. Wow. Whoa. Okay. So. All right. So the, the left one just looks a little too dark. However, the right one, like it's, it's brought up a little too much. That's the hard thing with night mode. It's too dark or it's like brought up too much. It's hard to find the middle ground. When I look at this area over here on the right side, everything looks really mushy. Mm -hmm. And I think the center one is a really good balance. Yep, I also like the center one. I like how the lights are not blown out like the one on the right. The left one is just too dim. You can't really see their faces. I agree, that's the pixel. pixel. All right, wow, that's beautiful. Dude, the center one is wow. all green and like swampy. Yeah. The sky is all gray. Something that I noticed on the left one is that the balloon really, really pops. I also like how the sky is darker and you can see a lot of stars too. That's true. One thing on the right, you see like this almost black, dark glow. Like weird aura yeah, thing. Yeah, behind that. And it looks like the whole sky and everything is kind of brought up and gray. It's kind of washed out. So it's kind of washed out the whole thing. The left is just killer. Just all the lights stand out and the darks get dark. Beautiful. Yeah. S23, amazing nice. job. Whoa, wow. tough night HDR. All right, Angelica. Oh man, this is tough. The first thing I thought is how the left one just looks much brighter than the others. And then I realized that Alina's in this shot. And I'm like, where is she in the center? Can't even see her. Yeah. So between the left and the right, I think I'm gonna go with the one on the right. I like how the darks are dark, like the sky. The one on the left, the whole sky is like brought up and it looks artifact-y. I am also choosing the right. I love how the color of the red pops yeah. and all these lines are so nice and sharp and detailed. And at the same time, Alina is not just fully just yeah, you know, gone. crushed. 14 Pro Max. Bung. Wow. Oh, that, that was, was the last, the last one. one. And we have some scores, and oh my goodness, I can't believe my results. <laughs> Angelica, what are yours? This is crazy. All right, so losing, I got seven for the Pixel, Yep. RIP Pixel, and then I got 12 for the S23 and 16 for the 14 Pro Max. Wow. And wow, look at this. I got 13 for the 14 Pro Max, 11 for the S23 Ultra and 11 for the Pixel wow, 7 that's Pro. Close. Both of us had the iPhone win. Yeah. Can you believe it? The iPhone from last year, I mean the Pixel is also from last year, but the S23 Ultra, even with 200 megapixels, yeah. megapixels, <laughs> it ain't winning for us. I don't know, you guys let us know your scores. 
down in the comment section below. This was fun. We got more of these coming in the future, so click the circle button to subscribe. This has been Vadim and Angelica, and we'll see you in the next video.